Interesting. Huh. So in this case, what I have is 5y, 2x, 120. I have parallel lines. And I need to be able to determine what is x and what is going to be my y. So a couple things, guys, that we look at. We know we have parallel lines. When we have parallel lines, automatically, again, think of, just like last, time, last problem that I went over, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, corresponding angles, um, as well as um, uh, interior or um, consecutive interior angles. So we need to evaluate for x and y. Now, if I have these parallel lines, remember, guys, we can just like extend these. All right. So you have two parallel lines, and then you have a line that intersects those parallel lines, which we call that transversal. So if you guys were to like just separately draw parallel lines and a transversal, would everybody agree that that angle and that angle are equal to each other by alternate interior angles? Would everybody agree with me? Would you guys agree with me that the way that that looks is exactly the way that 2x and 180 look? I know it's a little bit different, but it's the exact same thing, right? Sorry? OK. So you guys can see that there, you can rewrite them using that. All right? Now, it's very interesting how I remember, I don't remember putting Zeph and Samantha next to each other. And then I told Philip to move there. And now I'm having a problem. So I guess I might have to get that changed. But so we'll just go and look at 2x is equal to 108 degrees. Why is 2x equal to 108 degrees? Because those are alternate interior angles. Do you guys remember when we did these problems, I made you write out why their relationship was? The reason I did that was to keep you guys remembering how, what are all these relationships? How do they all relate to each other? So Alexandra, when you write that down, write it down if you forget. If you don't remember their alternate to your angles, write that down so you can remember them. So now I'll just divide by 2, divide by 2, and now I can say x equals 54. OK? So now let's go and look at another, um, let's go and look at another relationship that we have. Here, we, now we need to find the value of y. Now, we have two parallel lines, but we have two transversals. Remember, angles are only related to each other when they have the same when they are uh, labeled on the transversal. So since these angles are on two different transversals, I cannot relate them to each other. So I'm just going to have to look at this, these parallel lines and this transversal and see how are these two angles related. So I'll go back and just draw a random parallel lines and say, all right, I have two angles that look like this. And like that. And Blake, do you remember what these angles, what we called them? Consecutive, consecutive interior angles. And do you remember what the relationship was of consecutive interior angles? And don't say they're equal to each other. They're equal to they, their sum is equal to 180, right? Remember, alternate interior, alternate exterior, and corresponding are equal to each other. Consecutive interior add up to 180. So therefore, for me to find the value of y, I can say that 5y plus 120 degrees equals 180 degrees, because those are consecutive interior. So when you guys are looking at a problem and you see parallel lines, whenever you see parallel lines, please look to see if you can find any type of relationship. All right? So now I just need to solve. So divide by 120, divide by 120, 5y is equal to 60, divide by 5, divide by 5, y equals dulce. OK? Put your thinking cap on and get this stuff working. I saw 